Last time after we sign in, it will back to the home page, but we do not have any logout functions, so it is better to follow the documentations. And we will use this as our index page, so when there is sessions, it will return a button with sign out functions. Otherwise, it will return a button with sign in function. So we copy this and go back to our index and we replace this with what we just copied from the documentations. Now if we back to our website and we have to refresh the page. Now we have sign in as our email and now we can also sign out. So after sign out you have this sign in button and now again you can go to sign in with the email and now we can click on this and return to the index page and we can sign in as the email. Now we are going to use MongoDB as the adapter so we go to the documentations and we copy this and go to the terminals and paste this. At the same time we are going to create this mongodb.js so we copy all of this and under the auth we create a folder called library and then we add a new file and this is mongodb.js and we paste all of this and then we start import the mongodb adapter and also the client promise. So we go to the next of .js and on top of this we go to add the mongodb adapters. And then at the adapter we go to add the mongodb adapter here. And we also have to import the client promise. So now we already import on the top, so which is here. And what we have to do is because we already has the environment variable at here, so we have to copy this and back to the env file. And then we paste to here. And now we are going to find the MongoDB URI. Now I already has the account of MongoDB and if you look at this, you can see the connect button. And now we can click on connect your applications. And then we copy this and paste to here. And of course we have to change this to our username. And we can see our username is CK Mobile. And my password is CK Mobile123. And then the database name, we change this to learn next off. And since we are going to use the MongoDB adapter, so now we do not need this Firebase code. So we delete this and we also delete this one. And now we also no need to import the Firebase functions and also the adapter. So what we left is just the MongoDB and also the client promise. All of this is about the MongoDB adapter. So we save it. Now if we go to sign in and then we go to the sign in with email. And now we have this email and click sign in. Now we have sign in as the email and we are going to check the MongoDB. And if you refresh the page, you have the new database with learn next off and which we defined at our environment variable, which is here. And now we also have the sessions, the user. And you can see this is the email that we just input inside the input field. And this is the token. So this is how to use the MongoDB adapter.